Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new morning on Sky Factory 3.0 with me, the Chattering Camel. Today is gonna be a pretty short video, not gonna be very long at all, because I'm just gonna kind of showcase an idea that I had on how to get these Wither Skulls. So I'm at a point in the game where I need a lot of Nether Stars, and to get the Nether Stars you need to kill the Wither, to get the Wither you need three Skulls to summon one. So, okay. How am I going to get a very large amount of these skeleton skulls. There's a variety of ways I can do it. I know I could actually go to the nether, kill the skeletons there, get their skulls occasionally. Yay. It's going to take a while. Um, if I wasn't so lucky to already know where a couple of fortresses are, that might be a big, bigger ordeal. But, yeah. Um, number two, I could go to the nether, and I could go catch a wither skeleton with a soul vial and i could make a powered spawner out of it bring it back here power the spawner get all the wither skeleton spawns i want there i get plenty of skulls that way too but i want to toed i want to toed i want to toed i wanted to figure out can i get a very large amount of these wither skeleton skulls without having to make a powered spawner because kind of annoying because you do need to go to the nether to find a or see what is it i think it's a broken yeah you need a broken spawner which the only place you can get spawners i think is the nether fortresses i might be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's right so that's kind of a pain so how could i get these skulls without having to go to the nether was the question i asked myself and i looked at all the stuff available to me get them from loot bags Loot bags are really RNG, and they're really hard to get, especially these legendary loot bags. So, like, it takes a while to get enough loot bags to turn into a legendary loot bag. So, no. I could do the Wither Skeleton Essences, which also takes a while because, you know, you need at least eight skulls to start with to make one of the seeds, and then you just let it go in one of these giant uh, farm things I have set up. Also, didn't really want to do that quite yet. I might do that eventually, but not right now. So, what I did do is I kind of remembered back a couple of weeks ago. I was messing around on my old platform over by where my little death marker is, and a squid fell into witch water, turned to a ghast, and terrorized me for a few until I made a bow and killed it. So, I was like, okay, witch water just turned something into something else. So, I looked up a witch water. Which water turns things into other things? Turns spiders into cave spiders, turns creepers into charged creepers, villagers into witches. But it also turns skeletons into wither skeletons, which I thought was a really cool mechanic. So what I ended up doing was I took my uh, pretty basic mob farming system with the cursed earth, where they spawn, the fan pushes them into these grinders, and they die, get all the loot I want. Blah, blah, blah. So what I ended up doing was I put a wall of signs down, or up, to let mobs through, but it will hold water. So I can just flip this switch here, like so. I get a wall of witch water, which is being uh, provided from my dispensers. Very vanilla mechanic right there. What happens is the skeletons push in, or the creepers for this case, push in. They get turned into their which water counterpart, and I get that loot. So what I end up doing, ooh, I go up there, is I had that run for a while, and sure enough, I've been getting a pretty consistent amount of Wither Skeleton Skulls without having to set foot into the nether, which I think that's a pretty cool idea. So if you're one of those people who doesn't want to go to the nether for whatever reason as a challenge, or you don't just like the nether and you'd rather not go there for any reason or you've just been having really bad luck and can't find a fortress hey you have this option to do it to get all your wither stuff so yeah pretty good i foresee lots of withers dying in the future i just need to you know set up a cage but before i end today i wanted to show a simpler mob farm that i had an idea for so like to show off that people could potentially do this really early in the game because well 
The Wither Skeleton Skulls, they aren't necessarily very rare, or not really rare, but they're also not very common. Like, these are all upgraded, like, fully looting, looting upgraded. Fully looting. They have max looting, and they have max beheading. And I'm still not getting, like, a super amount of skulls very quickly. So, the longer you have it run, the better you are. Yeah, better off you are. So, here we are. A uh, fairly simple and easy to build drop mob farm. It still uses Cursed Earth, but you can replace that with just any spawnable platform. These fans are pretty cheap, you just need redstone and iron. You don't need to use the dark glass, you just need to block out the light so it thinks and spawn. And you just need to have a little tube down here that has a uh, layer of witch water where things fall through and they get to turn into their uh, counterpart. So yeah, this is a pretty simple one you could build. You could probably build this within the first day of playing Sky Factory. At least something like it, anyway. Yeah. Uh, could probably use a couple improvements, but I'm not really going to worry about it. I just wanted to show off a pretty easy way to do it if you don't want to make those little mob grinding things that I have on the my uh, Let's Play world. But, yeah, that is all the time I have for today. So, I would like to thank you all for joining me. If you liked the video, please hit like. And if you liked enough to subscribe, please do. If you have any comments, feedback, or suggestions, leave it down in the comment section down below. And until next episode, my friends, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.